I'm losing my Santa loving mind in that condo. Just, do you ever feel just so lonely and bored? You're sitting at home alone in a foreign country and your face is numb and you're just wondering what the hell do we do? I'm just sitting at home sometimes and I'm just like, I don't really want to always create and make videos. Like it's pretty exciting when I'm editing videos and I'm putting together something. It's like, all right, we're working on stuff. We're getting stuff done. We're bringing joy to the world. And then other times I'm just like, now what? I'm just there. I'm watching a bunch of Ogenus Vonder Planets lectures. So we're going out into the world tonight, my friend. Oh, a black cat ran across our path. Oh, that can't be good. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh, a black dog too. <laughs> I've never seen it so busy before. It's like the people of Thailand go out at night and they do stuff. They have friends and things. I miss my buddy Eddie. He went back to Brazil. Now who do I got to hang out with? So, I got no friends, no life, just sitting at home. And yes, we might as well talk about it. No longer vegan. Shirt changed. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I was losing my mind. I'm tired all the time. I had a sugar high for like three or four days where I was like, look at me. I'm thriving. My skin's not breaking out. And I was feeling okay. I was enjoying the lightness. I felt light and special. And I was like, all right, I'm saving the world. Fruitarian here. Not itchy, like no symptoms, but it started happening, the bladder, I just, I couldn't get enough calories without peeing my life away. And then I'm getting weak. And just that weakness. Is that a German Thai guy? Is that what we just witnessed? So, we're back on the raw meat. I kind of wish I didn't do the fast. God, I wonder, I just wonder what kind of damage should we do? Are we even recording? My head is numb. Bowels ain't moving. We just feel weird. But energy wise, it's like, all right, I feel all right. I mean, that was a pretty close call. Imagine this, you fast for 21 days and you break it with like antibiotics and x-rays and your body's just like, oh my god. Like, I'm probably feeling some sort of residual effect from the medication they were injecting me with shit. They injected me a couple times. I was like, what is that? He's like, I don't speak. <laughs> he wouldn't even tell me. I had no idea what. I think he said saline once. But then another time, I was like, what's that one, though? He could have given me chicken pox vaccines. I already had those. So yeah, it was a close call, and I still feel a little weird. Numb legs and a numb head. So hopefully that goes away. But I've abandoned the whole one meal a day thing for now. I think that was my main problem with the meat. I can't produce enough stomach acid to digest the meat. <laughs> my forehead, it feels like I'm scowling all the time now. I'm so angry. My career is based on weird facial expressions and I can't even do any of them. So basically, I'm still doing the juices, the raw juices, but not the fruit. I'm trying to do just the veggie juices and then small bits of meat throughout the day. Raw meat, little bits, just little bits. Back off, lamb. You're not gonna believe this. You're not gonna believe it. I ate raw chicken. I did it. It was phenomenal. Zero problems. Why are people scared of it? Salmonella. You need parasites to heal cancer for. They go in and they wiggle around in there. 
I was scared. I was like, I'm eating raw lamb anyway. I've eaten raw tuna, beef, everything. It's like, why would chicken be worse? It's just an animal. Some cute little fuzzy animal. I'm so sorry. But I tried it. Delicious, fatty, easier to chew. Cheaper. We're good to go on that raw chicken. So I'm making some high chicken. We're gonna age it a month. See, I have to leave in a month. I'm gonna have to eat it all before I leave. That's gonna be an interesting flight home. That's gonna be interesting. Here's the deadly alleyway of forest. I saw it earlier today. You couldn't pay me $47 to walk through that nightmare forest of a swamp, snake infested swamp territory land. Not even $47 would I do that. The only thing worse than that trail is this one. What the hell would be in there? I bet there's a coyote bear in the tree. Oh God, oh, help me. Point is here, I'm not getting any of the stomach pain from the raw meat. That was the only problem that I was having. I mean, I felt phenomenal on that two week raw lamb diet, except it was stabbing my gut. And it's because I was eating one meal a day so much. And then it's all undigested, floating through me, stabbing me. So we're just spreading it out now. No more intermittent fasting for now. I'm gonna try to gain a bunch of weight and I will fast again in the future, just not push it. If I can just warn you, don't push it beyond. I felt the markers. They were like, do not go any further. Break your fast now. You're starving. That was at like day 14, maybe even earlier. So I should have listened. I should have listened, but I wanted to push on. And that 21 day limit felt within reach. I was gonna grab it. I grabbed it. Oh, I grabbed it. And then it grabbed my gut and twisted it in a knot like a leprechaun. And I almost died. And so don't do that. Just listen. Your body will know. And it's not like, oh, I'm a little hungry and you're 400 pounds. It's like, you're bored. But if you're skinny like I was, my God, just listen to those signals. And fasting can be dangerous if you push it too far. Especially when you're a cyborg with a weird piece of mesh in your scrotal sac. I do believe in the long run though that 21 day fast will have benefited me extremely even though I almost died. As long as my face, as long as I regain feeling in my forehead, I can feel it. It's just weird. It's a bit numb and limited. And if that goes away completely, then there's nothing left over from the fast. My stomach already feels like nothing happened. Like this was dying right here. I can rub it right in there. Like there's no pain at all. So we're good to go. But man, that was a risk. It was not good. Hello everybody. <laughs> that was awkward. I was feeling awkward on that fruit diet in public. I think maybe you saw it. I was filming and I saw people, I'll play a clip of it right now. And like they went by me and I was like, I couldn't even say hi and it was weird. I got no confidence on that fruit diet.
So yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's going on in my body right now, but I feel like that fruit juice fast, like, did something to my nervous system after the long water fast, and I was so depleted in fats. What am I? Where am I going? I need a light bulb. Let's get one. Couture crap. Do you have these ones, but little ones? Um, little guys? Smaller. Oh. No house? No. Anywhere in here? I don't know. Okay. Cup gun crap. I bought that light earlier today, took it home, and then my lamp is like one of those Christmas lights. I was like, you piece of shit. And I couldn't even act surprised because I can't move my forehead. I wanted to, I was like, oh. <laughs> I can't even act surprised anymore. What if somebody surprises me? When I get back to Toronto, I'll be like, oh. I'll be like, are you? Aren't you surprised? We put in so much work for that party. I guess you just expected it, you piece of shit. <laughs> Did I mention how much more hydrated I feel? I'm on basically two cups of water a day. No salt, just raw meat, tons of fat. Fat is what's hydrating me. Feels phenomenal. And the juice. Maybe two cups of vegetable juice a day. Life hack. Confirmed. I was so thirsty before on the carnivore diet, trying to dial it in. There were times I felt okay, but for the most part, into that evening, I was so thirsty. Two teaspoons of salt. No longer are we a slave to sodium. I knocked him out. I think my only hope might be to actually buy a lamp because I how am I gonna find Christmas lights in January and all these signs you see all the signs up here I'm looking to see if they have light bulbs but my eyebrows can't move and I'm like oh god damn my life oh my god. well I didn't find a little Christmas light at least I got my money back for my other one so that's cool. The only light I have is the big overhead fluorescent one. It'd be nice to have a calm red one, a warmer one. We'll work on it. I guess we're done. Thanks for listening to me rant. Thanks for sticking with me. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down. If you're holding a Christmas light in your hand right now you're gonna mail it to me but you're gonna step on it first you piece of shit piece of shit alright we're done thanks for watching subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one